Hello guys. Wow, so much cool stuff to play with now. So, the Amiga 1200 or 1200NG is coming along. Uh, I just need to uh, fasten the space key. <laughs> I was so eager, so I started it without it. Uh, but what you're seeing on the screen here now is actually this. The Hackberry Pi. Uh, and as you can see, it has HDMI, HDMI out, has a couple of USB ports. Uh, yeah, so it's basically just a portable Raspberry Pi 5 uh, with a keyboard and display. So I guess the easiest uh, setup would be to simply uh, have it, you know, cloning the screen so that whatever you see here, you also see there and so on. Uh, but, but currently I'm using it as basically as two displays. So, uh, so this is uh, display one and then that's display number two. And I've installed uh, beneath, uh, no, that's uh, Lore of the Temptress. Honestly, I don't think so. It's uh, Flight of the Amazon Queen. That's the one. Yeah. Because that can be, you know, installed uh, using Aperture, you know, apt get install uh, Flight of the Amazon Queen. So that's pretty cool. Uh, also, I've cloned the SD card. It's a standard uh, Raspbian, so I don't really need that anymore. So I clone that uh, onto the SSD. Uh, and I've set the boot order so that it will first try to boot from an SD card. If you can't find that, it moves on to USB. If you can't find that, okay, then boot from the internal drive. So, um, I'm hoping to uh, take Batocera, uh, you know, the gaming system and uh, put that on the SSD. Uh, I don't have room for that many, that much stuff, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to you know, set up Amiga and things like that. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get PS3 running, but I doubt it. I doubt PS3 can run on this one. Uh, PS2 should work to some extent. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the whole thing with you know, the Hackberry Pi is that uh, it's portable, it has battery, you can carry it around with you, but it's basically just a portable Raspberry Pi 5. And you can do whatever you like with it, right? Uh, you could, if you like, install Android, you know, makes more use of the touchscreen. You also have, you know, the typical uh, old school Android uh, symbols. That should uh, make it a little bit easier to navigate, I guess. Some people use Android with it. I kind of want to want to use Linux on it. So, for all means and purposes, it's a portable game system. You can look at it like that. Or in my case, being a developer, I would like to use it. You know, uh, testing out software and, and things like that. So uh, you know, it's connected to my network. I can copy files back and forth. So I can you know sit at my Windows PC, uh, implement the code, transfer it over, and uh, you know just run it. So it makes life easier for me, but uh, I can understand why if you're not a developer that this might not be the model that you go for. Maybe uh, like a clockwork, uh, you know, the clockwork device, maybe that's better for you. Uh, maybe you don't need it at all. Maybe you just want a normal Android pad or something like that. But yeah, I find it very useful. So I still have a few questions um, regarding the A. 1200 NG that I need uh, answers for and then I'm going to do a full review and uh, article on it. So I tend to ask questions that maybe uh, the other ones don't. So yeah. Anyways, cheers. <laughs>